So before we even get started, I want to take the time to say, I hope that everybody is doing well. I'm happy you're here and I hope everything's going well. Your heart, your physical health, your mental health. I don't usually start a reaction off by saying that, but you know what? I'm only here because of y'all. So I appreciate you. I know one thing about this movie and it's a specific scene. And that scene traumatized me as a kid. I've never seen it since then. My dad showed me the one scene. He never allowed me to watch the movie. And we all know what that scene is. American History X. As blind as can go, but I'm ready to finally jump into it. I'm an adult now and I watch what I want to. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I'm talking to you, dad. Yeah. <laughs> Smash that like button. Hit a subscribe if you're new to the channel. To my return of subscribers, welcome back. Full length reaction is on Patreon. It's in the description below as well as my Instagram account as well as my series channel. Let's get it. Okay, I mean, I've, I've seen his face on the front cover, but that's all I know. I only know him from The Incredible Hulk, which I know is probably sad. I'm sure he's been in a lot of things. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm not familiar with him. Okay, so we starting off, it's black and white. I don't know if it's going to stay that way, but it is black and white. <coughs> Dang, somebody clapping cheeks for show. Sure. Mm-mm. And I already can see why my father did probably didn't want me watching stuff like this. He would rather me watch vampire movies and blood and gore than realism and hood movies or violence. Derek, put it down. Jesus, Danny, what the fuck are you thinking? There's a black guy outside. He's breaking into your car. Oh, he shoot. What the fuck is going on, Derek? Stay right here. Jesus. She, she got the heat. And it's crazy. Since then... I've definitely had my share of uh, encounters with life. Damn. Damn. I mean, you just standing there. Sheesh. Letting out the whole clip. They sure made him look a little like a little badass. I ain't gonna lie. It's crazy what like facial hair and like a buzz cut and he got the tattoos and I don't have a personal problem with him, okay? Well, don't insult my intelligence, Murray. You hate this child and I think I know why. Sheesh, what a start. That paper, Bob, uh, it's a travesty. Arguing for Hitler as a civil rights hero, you've got to draw the line. Yeah, but Hitler is crazy though. His brother probably put him up to it. I can guarantee you 100% his brother did not put him up to this. And it's a shame what he's been through, but that is dangerous. Dangerous in what way? Bob. I mean, the life he living right now is dangerous. We did, Y'all didn't just see what I saw? <laughs> the opening scene? I will not give up on this child yet. So they're saying he's a good kid. He's just in a bad situation. There's a lot of those out there, too. And unfortunately, the rest of the world just sees them as a bad person. That's not it. What's it gonna be, Danny? This petty crap you're pulling. Have a seat. How you doing? Fine. Things at home okay? Yeah. Derek got out this morning, did he not? Did you bring me in here to talk about Derek? Because what happened to him has nothing to do with me. I think the street would kill you. Your rhetoric and your propaganda. My boy. Safe. I promise you the street is in his crib already. We will discuss current events. We will call this class American History X. Uh, I was waiting for the X. I was like, is he gonna say that? Well, what do you want me to do it on? Your brother. Oh, God, man. I don't know if his brother would like that. Oh, he really is not going to like that. Tell him, teacher, I'm fucking cheating. Is that what's happening? Mm. I never cheated in my life. So I'm kind of getting the, the gist now a little bit. Like I said, I knew nothing about this movie. It's, it's looking like a lot of black versus white. Want some too, bitch? Huh? What's wrong with you? You want to die? Punk-ass white boy. The freak was that? He tried to touch the flame or something? Hey, man. Let me tell y'all something. I love my brothers, man. But I love everybody else, too. I just didn't come from that. You get what I'm saying? I didn't come from the mindset of, like, we look different. So we gotta... You stay on your side. I'm, o I'm over here. I didn't have that. Now, three years ago, a local kid named Derek Vineyard was sent up for murdering a couple of Crips. He was a skinhead, right? He was more like the skinhead, protege of Cameron Alexander. He's probably the biggest distributor and writer of white power literature and videos in L.A. County. 
Earlier today, L.A. County firefighter Dennis Vineyard was shot and killed battling a blaze at a suspected Compton drug den. We're at the Vineyard home right now, and uh, Lieutenant Vineyard's old... Oh, see? 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 Look at him. This is the Edward Norton I'm used to seeing right here. I think it's typical. Typical how? Well, this country's becoming a haven for criminals, so what do you expect? You know, decent, hardworking Americans like my dad are getting rubbed out by social parasites. Blacks, browns, yellow, whatever. Yeah. I don't understand. I know that's what he wanted to say, but he didn't say it at first. Oof. No, you know, no. They're not products of their environments either. That's crap. He got shot by a fucking drug dealer who probably still collects a welfare check. Yeah, when you're that upset at something, you're really not thinking and worried about what you're saying, to be honest. So, I completely understand. Venice Beach didn't always look like this. It used to be a great neighborhood. But when my dad moved us out here, Venice was a nice, quiet place to grow up. Okay, well, the least I can say, the only thing I can actually say that's accurate right now, is this. Black people do be on the court. Hey, yo, is that that fool you were telling me about? Mm-mm. They not in school right now. Dang, his smile and everything. I know something coming. I don't know what it is, but something is coming for sure. Oh, this dude. This one's for you, boy. Yo, this actor looks really, really good right now. Shout out to him. He does not look like that anymore. Hey, I got a bet. I come in this game right now. Same score, but we play black guys against the white guys. No money, no money. What's gonna be the course. catch? And not just today, for good. If you win, we will walk away. But if we win, no bitching, no fighting. Pack up your shit and get your black asses out of here. Is it gonna be a fair game or is some something else about to happen though? Defense, defense. Is he gonna hit the alley? Dude. He did it again. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> they definitely chose the athletic ones, though. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I knew something was going to happen. I literally felt like there was zero chance of them getting through this game without something going wrong. Hey, that stare is a lot deeper than we think right now. I don't know what's going to happen after this game, but win or lose on either one of the sides, something about to happen. Dang, and he hit y'all with the backwards. He said, damn, you're supposed to be a nigga. We supposed to run basketball. <laughs> Humans play basketball, okay? Three years without him, just wondering. And then we picked him up outside the gate. Oh, come on, give the guy a break. What's the matter, you too big to give me a hug, tough guy? No, man. You know, need someone to look after you while you adjust all this space. Took it all the way down, huh? Well, shit, look, I forgot, man. It hurt like shit while they were putting it on, man. When did you get that? I got it mm -hmm. about a month ago. Cameron made it official. Cameron? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. I'm gonna grab it. Is there a phone in the back? Mm -hmm. I'll get it in the back. Y'all felt that big brother energy? We're taking down the Zog machine. Two by two by two. You think our friend was behind that? Well, you know what? I don't even care. I don't even care because I'm gonna take care of that tonight. So what was the what was the point of that shot of a uh, homie right there then? Oh, he's just coming to the crib. Okay. Dang. Are you sure you can fit through the fucking door? Fuck you. What's up, Dan? How you doing? How you doing? Where's Derek? That's a a yo for me, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is Seth doing here? Did you invite him over? <laughs> nah, he always comes over here. Now he's really, I could tell he's he's a little pissed. He's he's like a calm pissed, but he's still pissed. Pissed is pissed. It don't matter if you calm or not. Oh, pervert head ass. When was the last time you were actually able to see your feet? <laughs> Yo, why are you at each other's throats? <laughs> Damn. You mean that shit about your mother, man? You want to get fucking beaten, Danny? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've never seen him in a role like this. Like, this is an extreme kind of role for him. But, again, I'm late to the game. Y'all been saw this, I get it. They're all a bunch of fucking freeloaders. Remember what Cam said? We don't know him, we don't want to know him. They're the fucking enemy. Um, I hear what you're saying, bud. I do. Um, your facial hair is kind of bothering me, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's not my business. 
I hate this hip-hop fucking influence on white fucking suburbia. Pigs telling us we should get along. Fucking A, back from the dead gun, Bush. <laughs> he lost weight, man. I can get my arms, like, almost all the way around you. <laughs> not the, not the almost. <laughs> Did you post some kind of shit in school today? It's the usual. I'm telling you, man, this kid is awesome as hell. Did you turn in a paper on Mein Kampf? Yeah. That is yeah, awesome. Man. You should have. probably man. shit his pants. You did, man. Go away. you kidding? Nope. Go wait in Danny's room. Sweeney is a good teacher. You can learn a lot from him. And you're going to do it. You do anything he tells you to do. <coughs> Just yelling at him for blowing smoke in your face and you're in here sucking on it. All right? <coughs> All right? Did she just cough up blood? Please go eat. I'm fucking starving here. I mean, I can't. I don't give a shit. Go wait in the living room. <laughs> he acts like a child. There you go. Jelly beans. I know. How did I know? How did. <laughs> that is so crazy to me. Like I said, you do whatever paper you want to do. Just don't let him see that junk. Or then again, it might be the opposite of what I think. Maybe he'll see it and be proud of him somehow. But I doubt that, though. It didn't take long for Derek to make a name for himself. And Cameron knew just how to use it. He sent Derek to the kids, the ones who were sick of getting their asses kicked by black and Mexican gangs. Is that dude short or is he really tall? How tall is he? Edward Norton actually looks really tall. Curtis, what is that? Oh, come on, Derek. We need some f***ers. Put that away right now. I bet you y'all won't say that no more. <laughs> Everybody smoke it now. Except me. I don't smoke, but I also don't judge people who do. Who gives a shit? Our government doesn't give a shit. So is anybody surprised that south of the border they're laughing at us? Sheesh. We're losing our right to pursue our destiny. We're losing our freedom. But this isn't our fucking neighborhood. It's a battlefield. Oh shoot, they putting on masks. It's getting real. Make a decision. Damn. Damn. They're probably super confused. They're like, what is going on? I was just working. I'm not hurting nobody. That's insane. And what are they pouring on her? Uh-oh. You got the cannon. Damn. She's going to be traumatized for the rest of her life. I mean, all these people are. This is so sad, man. Oh, like, just... Just the back and forth and everything. Like, maybe I really am just a pure-hearted kind of person. I don't know how to, like, I understand I'm a reactor. That's what I do for my job. But, like, this ain't me, y'all. Like, this kind of shit ain't me. So, so, when I'm watching it, it's like I my brain can't fathom, like, this is how some people live sometimes. I don't get it, man. It's not an intellectual thing. It's more of, like, a heart thing. Like, I don't get how that much hate can be, like, whatever, man. The irony is that most of the stores that were destroyed during the riots were owned by black people. That's stupid, though. I mean, why trash your own neighborhood? Well, that's my point. It's an irrational act, an expression of rage by people who feel neglected. Look at the mom. She actually looks a little bit more normal right now. Look at the statistics, for Christ's sakes. It's one in every three black males is in some phase of the crime. People kill people, fam. It's not that deep. That's just me. People kill people all the time. You know, it's like saying, it's not a riot, it's rage. It's not crime, it's poverty. I got a question for y'all. Did he get good feedback from this movie or bad feedback? Some people do a, a role so well and people really do get hurt and stuff by it. I get it. Murray, what do you think? Well, I, I did think that the police used their clubs rather excessively. Who are you to say what's excessive? I think it was totally appropriate. Respect that authority. Look who's talking about respect here, Mr. Junior KKK. Oh, what? Please. Yo, his sister is on his ass right now, okay? You could tell she is not really for what he's saying at all. And Rodney King had plowed into Can him. we just drop this Rodney King thing? You know what's crazy? Every time we watch a movie, and it's similar to something like this, some people be like, well, you can't blame the kids or you can't blame the people growing up thinking a certain way because it's usually the parents that are like that, right? This is not that, though. So where did he get this from? Set it together. Yes. No. No, you cannot. Don't interrupt. That ain't interrupting. That's being excused. Don't interrupt her. I was just in the middle of making a point. 
don't give a fuck about her point. I would have got up. If I say I want to go, I want to go. Sit your ass down. You move. No. You know, like, sit wait, down. Girl. Come here. Hey. Uh, what do you no. think you're doing? Get back. You're just going to sit there and watch this? Stop. You need to learn. She can't breathe. You're a fucking asshole. Nah, buddy. Nah, buddy. I would have beat the fuck out of you, my nigga. And no, I'm not going to take any of that out because I want y'all to feel what I just said. You feel what I'm saying? Touch my sister like that. Poisoning my family's dinner with your Jewish, loving, hippie bullshit. Whew. I'll be watching some, be watching some serious movies on this channel. <laughs> what did I do to you? Aren't you ashamed? I'm ashamed you came out of my body. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's tough. Mama, it might be time to go. You might have to go. He's gone. He's just a boy. Oh, who's just a boy? That is a grown ass man in there. That's not a boy. Oh, he's talking about him. I hope she's talking about Danny. This had to be one of the most polarizing movies like of its time. It had to be. Take this, you hey, dick. No. Ah. no, 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 come here. Yo. Yo. I would never hurt you, I know that. I nah, buddy, you're cooked. I don't believe you. Honestly? I trust you, Dad. I wouldn't either. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I would never get in a situation where I put my hands on my sisters like that. Woohoo! I feel like I let you all down on the I don't even know what had happened. Mom, it's okay. Yeah? Yeah. A part of your life when you're a grown-up has a lot to do with how you were brought up. Yes, and your past. But once you grow up, you still have a choice to be the best person you can be or to not. I didn't necessarily have the best hand handed to me either. I went a long time without my mother. She passed. She was a great mother. Me and my father weren't all always close physically. He was in a whole nother state. I feel like I had to raise myself for a while. I want you in this house. It's fine. I'll be gone in the morning. That's insane. Fucked with the wrong bull. Oh, this is it. Oh my God. Oh no. I don't care about the race part. I hate to see this with anybody. No. I didn't know when it was coming, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. All the ways you can die. Put your teeth on the curb. I would have just kept saying, no, you're going to shoot me anyway, right? Then pull the trigger. That's crazy. Actors are powerful. They would make you look at somebody in a whole different way. Every time I watch Edward Norton in another movie now, I'm going to think of this. As y'all probably did. This is probably what happened to y'all. It's definitely not my kind of party. <laughs> Honestly, it's not even about like all the stuff that's going on. It's like I'm I'm I've never really been into metal regardless. Yeah, just metal. And that sounds like metal to me. Drink up, Danny, Set. before your brother sees you. Holy fuck, he's here? Yeah, he's fucking hey, he's here. Hey, how's it going, man? I'm Jason. It's my buddy Chris here. We're friends with your brother. You are a fucking god! Hey. You should be kicking her to the curb. That's what you should do. Wow. That was that was a terrible wording, by the way. He shouldn't be freaking with her no more. That's what I'm trying to say. He's a manipulative, self-righteous Uncle Tom, trying to make you feel guilty about writing about Adolf Hitler. Would you do something with me? Anything. Leave with me. Leave where? Leave here. Leave, leave all this. Why would you want to leave? They worship you. You're like a god to them. I don't want it. I don't want my family involved. Everything I've done here has fucked it all up. Do you understand? Oh, baby. Oh, come on. I don't care what race you are. I would never be like, yeah, that person should put their teeth on the curb and stomp that bitch. Not once. That's insane. You are nuts. No way. It's I don't ironic. think you realize what's been going on here. Forget Wait it. a second. Forget it. Wait a second. What was a mistake? Stacy, just say goodbye. Just say goodbye. This isn't you. 
I know you. You don't know anything about me, Stacy. Yeah, she's definitely the crazy one right now. My goodness. And if we scare the fuck out of people and a few people get killed in the process. You gonna put that in your paper, Danny? <laughs> oh, shoot. Hey, man. He was listening. Well, look who's here. The return of the soldier. What are you doing here, Danny? Come on, man. I had to check it out. Let the kid alone, Derek. He's gonna have a lot of character development. I could tell. Because now they're gonna basically have the redemption thing going on. Like he's trying to turn over a new leaf. You know, I'm sorry. The, the party was a little quick, but we're just so damn glad you're back. You made the fat kid a little nervous. He thinks the joint messed with your mind. It did. Because people out there, they've got a lot of respect for you, Derek. When you're ready, you ought to come and talk to me about it. You can forget about that. I understand how you feel. I mean, you've just done some hard time. Don't you fucking talk to me about hard time. You don't know a thing about it. Hey, I've done mine. You didn't do shit. I found out about your little prison story. You did two months, and then you rolled over on two kids and let them go down for you. So don't be... Mmm. Yeah. Pussy. You prey on people, Cam. You use them. I lost three years of my life for your fucking phony cause, but I am on to you now, you fucking snake. Hey, Gary, watch it. Be careful. I came in here to tell you one thing. I am out. Out! And Danny is out, too. If you come near Danny again, I will feed you your fucking heart, Cameron. He'll come to me. Me? I knew that was coming. You're a fucking dead man, Vineyard. <laughs> Honestly? I know, I really know you. The last thing you want to do is take a body, but to be honest, <laughs> you might have to. <laughs> wow. Hey, 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 hey. Where's Cameron? Where the fuck is he? Hey, Where the fuck are you going? She's gone. Oh, shoot. Seth! Seth! Put down the fucking gun! Yo, does he Seth! die right here? Seth! Ah! Ah! God. Back up! Move! Never mind. I was gonna say, maybe he actually dies. What a turn of events in the last 10, 15 minutes. Hey, Fuck you, you, Danny. Who do you think you are? What's happening to you, Dare? He might have opened his eyes a little bit. Dang, he looked at him like, you got one more time to push me, boy. I'm telling you, big brother energy is a real thing. You better stop. All right, I'm sorry. You weren't supposed to see that tonight. I told you not to come. Fuck you, man. This is one tough-ass movie, man. Whew. Those guys, the gang, that life, I'm done with it. What happened to you up there? He was probably forced to get along with certain people. Yeah, I was hoping we got some kind of backstory. Because I, I need to visually see something. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing all different races. Okay. Any white trash piece of shit? I saw a couple Hispanics. I'm seeing mostly black, and he is the only white person. My imagination, I don't need to see what happens. I can imagine already he's in trouble. They gon they gonna get you for sure. They just they just plotting. Don't think because they invited you to a table you could trust them. Don't fuck with me, I right? Because I'm the most dangerous man in this prison. You know why? Because I control the underwear. Because <laughs> he controls the underwear? Him being forced to work with a black person is actually amazing. What you in for? Probably robbed some old lady, huh? <laughs> Badass peckerwood with an attitude. You better watch your ass, because in the joint, you the nigga, not me. Ooh, that line was so crazy. That's the one line that resonated with me so far. What's that all about? Oh, it's just politics. He's doing favors for that fucking speck. You know what's really crazy right now? I'm black and Puerto Rican. I know how to not get offended by things. I like to watch and learn. I like to, I like to see things in a certain life that I'm, I was not a part of. He's up on it. I wonder who it is. His little brother. His br oh, his mom? What are you doing here, Doris? I was in the neighborhood. Calling her Doris is crazy. I, I don't want you all coming up here to see me. I don't care what you told me, okay? I need to talk to you now. So how is everyone? It's Venus great. She's uh, getting straight A's almost. And uh, How's Danny? Danny. 
Danny, he holds you up so high. Yeah, it's not that his other family don't matter to him, but I know he really wanted to know about Danny. You know what? I can't fix all this shit from up here, okay? Don't bring this shit up to. to me. You think you're here all alone? You think I'm not in here with you? Ooh. Let me tell you something about a mother's love. You can do so much stuff to them and they still love you, man. It's like they can't help it. No matter how fast you get through a man, they're gonna keep bringing him in and bringing him in and bringing him in. And you know what? That's cool with me. But you know you're gonna give me a goddamn heart attack too. I know, I know. I'm just a dumb, stupid right? I know I ain't the one getting mad at them damn sheets though. <laughs> That's fair. All right, boys, this is what we're going to do. We're going to hate some niggas. That's what we're going to do today. We're going to hate some The fact that he's crossing his eyes, that's insane. Has he said one word to him? <laughs> hmm. Sheesh. He's definitely paying attention. Hey, Vineyard! Weird flex, but all right. Come on, man, don't tell me this smell doesn't remind you of a woman. But ain't no woman in there. You know what? No, no. It's not my business. But I've seen prison movies before. When you miss something, you miss something. I get it. She comes to visit you. Don't let her walk out of here with a bad attitude. Because if you do, you spend the next week wondering if she's out there getting her fuck on with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? So when she comes in to see you, man, it's nothing but sweet talk through that glass. Send her away float. All right? <laughs> Send her away float. I'm going to put it on you. Did you ever let me catch you? Yeah, yeah. I may forgive you if you bring it. I think I can. I, I for it's not him doing it. It's like him keeping eye contact with homie while he's doing it. <laughs> That's insane. What the freak is going? What are you doing? Oh, he sat by himself. How do you figure the Lakers to ever be a bigger dynasty than the Celtics? The, the Lakers are like a flare up. Are you freaking telling me that his best friend in the prison was a. I know what you're saying. You are tweaking, Boston Celtics. I like that. I mean, I could have assumed that that was going to happen, but I didn't even try to do that with my brain. I just watched it. Oh, this is what I want for everybody, though. I stole a TV, alright? You in there for stealing a, a TV? TV? What's embarrassing about that? I stole a TV from a store that was right next door to a donut shop, alright? I run out, the store owner's running behind me yelling, bam, I run into three cops, alright? <laughs> nah, you didn't get you didn't get six years for stealing a TV, man. Come on. I go in the store, I come out. I mean, he is black. And this is coming from a black person, so. They said I threw the TV at the office. So six years. Oh shoot. Lord Jesus. You want to be a, a sweet boy? We're going to treat you like that. I am a grown ass adult and I feel like I have to cover my face. Oh my God, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God, bro. Yeah, I would, I would, I would actually rather die. Look at me right now. I would rather die. Sometimes you don't got the option. He didn't have the option right there. <laughs> I feel like that would be one of the one things that would completely take somebody's manhood away. I can't actually think of something that could be worse. He's headed right where you are. You know what? My mother already laid this trip on me, man. Danny's not my responsibility, you know? What do you expect me to do with that? It doesn't help me. Am I supposed to feel guilty? Look, Derek, you are too damn smart to be floating around here pretending you don't see all the holes in this bullshit. Right, hey, listen, you know what? I said I was confused. I didn't say I didn't believe in it. All right, that's why you have to stay open. What do you, what do you know about the place I'm in? He was moment, here? I used to blame everything and everyone. I used to blame everybody, blame white people, blame society, blame God. I didn't get no answers because I was asking the wrong questions. Has anything you've done made your life better? I was just going to say, I, I don't think he can say yes. I don't think he can say yes. At least not truthfully. Just help me. Get me out of here, you know? Yo, I'm literally sitting in a chair watching a man just break down slowly but surely. Dude. 
Do I look like I want to sit near you, bitch? Yo, what's up, D? Yo, what's all that bullshit you put in the mess hall, man? You can't make it in here on your own. Look, I'm not afraid of those fucking pussies, okay? There were six of them and they jumped me. That's not gonna happen again. What, what are you gonna possibly do? They're gonna come for me. They're gonna come for me. There ain't nothing I can do. That's true. So I was right back where I started. Every day I was sure it was my day. Yeah, started growing a little hair. This is insane, man. This might be some of the craziest character development I probably have ever seen. Because the hatred for black people in the beginning of this movie was insane. Slowly but surely, this is starting to go away. What's up, man? You getting out? So I Come wonder... On, so, so did he ever get out? I'm thinking maybe the only reason I'm getting out of here in one piece is you. Oh my god. Why do I not know how to feel right now? Like, I genuinely don't know how I want to feel right now. Just take it easy on the brothers, I right? The brothers! I'm not confused up here. So when I tell y'all I'm confused, it's not here. I'm confused here. <laughs> it's wrong, and it was, it was eating me up. It was going to kill me. And I kept asking myself all the time, I mean, I killed two guys, Danny. I killed them. Oh, he did. Yeah, it was just two guys because the other guy got away in the car. Yeah. At first, I was going to say three. Let me tell y'all something that's beautiful in this world, okay? A person that can change their life around. Like, anybody can change, dude. They'll never let nobody tell you otherwise. I'm still scared for the little brother, though. I'm not gonna lie. Everything okay? No, everything's great. Yeah. Great. Yeah. You wanna sleep in our room? Sure. Thank you. Yeah, this, right. is, this is good. Why do I feel like I know how this may end? And if it does, I'm going to be super broken for them. Half of them didn't believe in what he did. You realize that. You got innocent people that have nothing to do with what you're going through. And you're putting your family in danger. So if something happens to the family, I'm going to be extremely upset. Oh no. It's hard to look back and see the truth about people you love. This is so freaked up, man. This is all so freaked up. Are we all meeting together for the game tonight? Yes, definitely. I'm telling you, this guy is different. Dr. Sweeney, this guy's unbelievable. Unbelievable. It's, I've never had a teacher like this. He's got like two PhDs. I don't know what he's doing teaching in our school. We're doing this whole black literature unit. Yeah. Does he not like that? Or, or he's just dismissive about it? Huh? I mean, you gotta trade in great books for black books? Does that make sense? Huh? No, America's about best man for the job. You do your best, you get the job. I, I can at least agree upon that. Like, it's it's not about race, man. Like, that's not what it should ever be about. It should be who's the best for the job. Who cares about how you look? It's nigger bullshit. Mm. I, was just, I was wondering if he was kind of for it, if he wasn't for it. He definitely doesn't give me the same energy that the mom does and the sister does. He's kind of real. He's realizing. He's like, I'm seeing where we got this stuff from. I said that thing about the parents because I only mentioned the mom. It was the dad. Parents really have power to plant stuff in people's head. They do, man. I can't tell you how to teach your kids. I'm, I'm a father too. Nobody tells me how to teach mine, but I'm not gonna go around here saying this race is like this, this race is like this. And then when they get older and they start getting in trouble, I'm gonna be like, it's your fault. No, it was mine because I decided to do that. I'm not sure if this paper is what you wanted. If I hit the social significance. She, she even dressing up now. It's you. Yeah, gotta dress up for the parole officer. Is she cute? She is a fat guy named Hector. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm out of luck. Thanks. <sighs> I really, I really hope I was wrong, man. So it's not gonna be the family. It's not gonna be the family. It might just be him or them. Oh shoot, what's going on? Hey Derek. Hey. Derek. They were jumped last night near Ben's Burgers. How bad? Well, it looks like they're gonna live. We were kind of hoping that maybe you, well, you talk to your old crew. Oh, come on, well, come on. This is not no a good way. thing. Now, if there's anybody they're gonna listen to you. <laughs> no, no, Wait. I'm, I hate to tell you, but I'm out. That's not, that's not cool. You, you wanna take a break now? You take a break, you'll find no peace. You can find peace if y'all actually bounce. 
but they're still there though. And I know it's easier said than done. You want to be a good big brother? Smack that cigarette out his out his hand. How about that? I know people that lost their lives because of that. Oh man, this is this is bad. Drafting, man. It'll cool off. It's crazy to know that something about to happen to one of them, and I really can't tell who it is. I'll see you at home. Not the not a not a I love you. Not the love you little bro. He should have. That's all right though. Okay, the fact that they're on him now, this is scary. Don't go in the bathroom. Oh, you're cooked, buddy. Damn. It was him, man. Ah, <sighs> mama's not gonna be okay. I mean, honestly, none of them might be okay, to be honest. They tried to change now. Of course. <sighs> Another stressful movie. So I guess this is where I tell you what I learned. Hate is baggage. Life's too short to be pissed off all the time. We are not enemies, but friends. We must not be enemies. Bruh. What a tough movie to watch. Another, another tough one to watch. American History X. This was tough to watch. I'm glad they ended the way they did. It wasn't like a fairy tale. Like this, they let you know, this is not gonna be that kind of movie. This is the kind of movie that you may not like what happens, but we're gonna give you realism and we're gonna give you real life. Just because they learn to forgive and learn to try to change. And like he said, don't hold hate in your heart. It's that in the third. It's a lot of baggage. It doesn't mean that the other party is going to do that. And that's real life. That's realistic. Everybody's different. Everybody moves at their own pace. Don't hold hate in your heart. It's not good for anybody. And it doesn't do anything but bad. Now, I was saying that in the beginning to the middle of this reaction, I was letting y'all know who I am. And I'm not for all of this shit. Y'all know who else ain't going to be for any of this? My kids. That's not what we do. You see that? You see that Caucasian girl over there? You see that Asian girl over there? You see that black girl over there? I don't care what race they are. You make friends with everyone. You show kindness to everyone. We do not do that. I needed to watch this though. Anyone who's been around the channel knows that I do a really good job at being very broadened and being very diverse with what I do over here. I want to learn, man. There's a lot of people who, were, who would be scared to do a movie like this. I was never afraid to do this movie. I didn't know anything about the movie for one. I had a feeling that it was controversial. I definitely did. I had a feeling, but that's only a feeling. I, I still wasn't ready. It didn't matter what I felt, I wasn't ready. And that's the, the bottom line. Let me know what you thought, not only about the movie, but what you thought about Edward's acting and his role in here i don't care who you are and i don't care what you've done you can change smash that like button hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel full length reaction it's on patreon it's in the description below as well as my instagram account and as well as my series channel but i'm gonna get out of here i hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are stay love and stay blessed